A Catholic church in San Diego has warned parishioners that they will go to hell if they vote for Democrats. Here to comment on the state of the election is Church Lady. <laughs> Thank you for having me on your little midnight shindig. It's so what a delightful you. job you have. Yeah. Instead of resting up for church, you're staying up late making naughty jokes about Anthony's wiener. <laughs> yeah, not quite the path of Jesus, is it? Well, I think that Jesus appreciates a good joke, doesn't he? Jesus loves a good joke. <laughs> So that would leave you out of the all equation, right. wouldn't yeah, it? Thanks. I thought we have some fun jokes, you know? They're all right. Well, isn't that special? <laughs> so, all right. So, so what are your thoughts about this election? Well, it's a tough choice we have on Tuesday, don't we, Colin? Do we vote for a bitter female android from the 90s or a riverboat gambler with a big tummy and an orange head? <laughs> So you have not, you've not chosen a candidate yet? Jesus is not on the ballot, Colin. <laughs> I suppose he's not part of your life either, is he? Because like everyone else in Hollywood, you're a homosexual. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> I'm actually not gay. <laughs> <laughs> you do good, dear choice. <laughs> Colin, really, seriously, yeah. that is so funny. Yeah, Just stay you. there. Stay in the cupboard, mister. Good idea. Okay. <laughs> Colin, by my count, there are only three celebrities left who aren't homosexuals. Jim Parsons, Neil Patrick Harris, and the wonderful Nathan Lane. Actually, all, all of them are gay. Yeah, that's... Oh. Why don't we just... Newsflash. Yeah, why don't we just focus on the election? Can we stay yeah, on the election? Yeah, let's just stay real micromanaged right now. Yes. Focus right, the just, election. Okay. Tuesday. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Who are you going to support, Colin? Me? I suppose you're going to write in your favorite candidate, Satan! I, Surprised you, didn't I? I didn't know you were going to say Satan. I just jumped that thing. Yeah. I thought you were going to say Don't make me Johnson. do it again. No. I'm not voting for Satan. Oh, well, de well, well, well. You know, you're just a late night comic with a belly full of booze and a dressing room full of whores. <laughs> You're drunk right now, aren't you, Colin? No, I'm not yes, drunk. Yes, you are. Maybe a little buzzed. Mm -hmm. Smoking the pot now, are no. we? Sucking on the devil's cigarette. That's not. That must be why you're not the crispiest chip in the bag. <laughs> Look, is there anything out there right now that you do like? Westworld. <laughs> you like I love that show. I'm surprised you like it. Well, what's not to like, Colin? A land of naked cowboy robots fornicating. They should have called it West Hollywood. <laughs> Too soon? <laughs> it just seems like everything in the world, you think, is just in such a bad state. You know what? You know what? I never lose hope, Colin. And what a lovely little country we have here. Sometimes I look around and I think to myself, what a wonderful world. Oh, no. You're, you're not going to sing, are you? I okay. see skies of blue. Red roses, too. I see them bloom for me and you. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. Yes, I think to myself, what a wonderful world. Corinthians 14. Thank you. A couple in Russia invited a bear to be a witness at their wedding. There were no survivors. <laughs> a group of men were criticized for dropping out of a male birth control study because of side effects like headaches, mood swings, and acne. 
See, this is why women should be in full control of all reproductive rights. <laughs> Men are not going to take birth control because pregnancy just doesn't affect our bodies. When a woman gets pregnant, she has to decide whether or not she wants a human being to grow inside of her. Meanwhile, I get nine months to decide whether to buy a stroller or a bus ticket. <laughs> usually stroll. <laughs> Men wouldn't care about side effects if it did something good for us. Like Cialis could cause blindness and you still hear horny old blind dudes riding around the streets looking for ass. <laughs> and what woman would even trust a dude to keep up with birth control? I mean, if a guy's responsible enough to keep up with his birth control, he wouldn't need it because he'd probably make a great father. <laughs> This Sunday is the New York City Marathon. The marathon is a great chance for foreigners to practice running for their lives. <laughs> well, finally, it's a very special night here on Weekend Update because with us tonight are the winners of Weekend Update's first ever The Voice Contest. Now, let's meet those winners right now. Now, so why don't you guys introduce yourself for the audience and the viewers at home? I'm Anthony Rizzo. <laughs> I'm David Ross. <laughs> and I'm Dexter Fowler. <laughs> I'm Bill Murray. Guys, can you please put into words what it feels like to be named the first winners of Weekend Update's The Voice Contest? It's unbelievable. I can't describe it. This is the best thing we've ever done. And now I have to ask, uh, you on the end, you look familiar. Uh, did you used to work here? I did. I knew it. I knew it. I, I knew it. But that was so many lifetimes ago. Right now, for me, it's all about our music. I see. And, and uh... And uh, what song is it that you'll be performing? It's an original composition entitled, Go Cubs Go. That, that, that uh, sounds fantastic, yes. Wait a second, who are these guys? Uh, they're our backup singers. We didn't know that it was against the rules. <laughs> we'll overlook it. Take it away, guys. Baseball season's underway. Well, you better get ready, it's a brand new day. 